Groove number 14 is called Boogeyman. And if you're going to be playing instrumental rock, that straight rock boogie is going to be one you're going to want to need to know. I've used it in my own song, The Obligatory Boogie, off my album Just Outside of Normal. I've played Satch Boogie more times than I can remember and uh, recorded a couple of boogies with Steve I and uh, well, it seems like all those guitar players. It's a staple. So it's a groove you're really going to want to have in your back pocket. This example is going to be an A. And again, the thing here is not to do too much, is to listen to the drums, try to find the right amount of swing. It's got a little riffs at the end of the second and fourth bar but uh, you want to have a nice, full, fat, even sound and not try to overplay it and just lay it in the pocket. And as the tempos get quicker, what you're going to have to do to play those quick tempos, not to work harder, but actually to relax. So let's relax and let's, uh, let's boogie onward, shall we? Here's your classic rock double bass drum boogie that uh, I've played with Steve Vai, with Joe Satriani. I actually wrote a tune myself called The Obligatory Boogie on my last album, just outside of normal. So in modern instrumental rock music or boogie music, rock in general, you're going to have to learn to play this groove. And it can be tough. The challenges are going to be uh, just to keep it going. You can't let yourself get bored and try to add a bunch of other notes. Because all we're doing here is we're just laying down that A. And we're trying to find the right amount of swing to couple with the drummer. So I'm listening to what the drummer's playing. And I'm also trying to get a little snap with my right hand. But to play at this speed, the real key is to relax your right hand. As we get going on, you see that sometimes there is a sound where if you click real hard, you get that kind of rasp. But that's not what we're going for here. We're going for a real even sound. But you can see, to swing it, we're kind of making the first note a little more prominent. Right? The first note of all the, of every bar of the 16th notes. To kind of give it that hop. So it's not as prevalent as some of the accented lines we're going to show in the next few grooves. But keeping it even, accenting every other, and just to give it a little bit of a roll and playing the accents of the fills. So slow down, it would sound like this. And again, really the whole main thing with this is the control of your right hand and making sure that your left hand doesn't get bored and trying to play a bunch of fills when what's needed is just a big, solid pumping engine underneath the rest of the band. So it's a real gallop with your first two fingers. And again, the best way to achieve that is to relax and play comfortably and lightly. <laughs> 